Hello everyone, I'm glad you came here today because I have something very interesting that I want to talk to you about. My name is Dwayne Hart. I'm a 20 year veteran of the United States Navy. One of my passions in life is cyber talk. Imagine one day you decide to go to your favorite banking institution and as you go into the institution, you decide to withdraw $10,000, but you check your account prior to going to the banking institution. So you take your information and you hand it to the teller, and the teller looks back at you and says, sir or ma'am, you don't have no money in your banking account. Then you look to the right, there's a monitor that actually states, the bank has been susceptible to a cyber attack. The system will be down for 72 hours. I'm not finished yet. Also, too, you decide to get into your car and to go home. But then what you also do is try to go on Facebook so you can let all your friends know about everything that's been happening to you. But when you open up the Facebook app, there's an indicator that says Facebook has been shut down due to a ransomware attack. Your day is changing. Then you notice on your car that the fuel indicator is low. You need to get some gas now. So you drive around a corner and you go to the gas station and you notice that there's a long line of people that are waiting and waiting and waiting to get gas. And you roll down your win window and a gentleman comes to your window and states, sir or ma'am, this line is going to be long because we are, we are at an all-time fuel shortage. There's been a ransomware attack on a major petroleum line. Can you imagine that? Just imagine that happening to you. But you know what? You can become smarter, and you can be part of the group of people that are trying to, meet, trying to beat hackers to the finish line. So this is what CyberTalk does. It's focusing around if you have a risk management program, you have a vulnerability management program, maybe asset management program, which a lot of people forget about, or your configuration management program, and other type of programs that may be in place for your organization. It's going to allow you to understand how those programs operate, but at the same time, how do you connect those programs together? Because as I said before, cybersecurity is a puzzle. How do you put that puzzle together? This is exactly what CyberTalk does. So as a business, you're always concerned about your programs. But the other side of a business is for business development. Because many of the CISOs and C-suite professionals and salesmen have to go and represent their country uh, companies. And when they represent their companies, the first thing they have to do is to throw a sales pitch in the boardroom. Now, you need to throw a sales pitch. Because the first thing you want to do with your sales pitch is to let your customer know that you can help them resolve their problems. See now, when I was in the United States Navy, I learned one major principle. And that is, if you stay ready, you will always be ready. This equates to being proactive. If you're proactive in what you do when it comes to cybersecurity, you can always stay ahead because you can beat hackers to the finish line because this is exactly what the cybersecurity industry is supposed to be doing and regular users, finding ways to beat hackers to the finish line. Now, what I have done is decided to help everyone out and to learn how to beat hackers to the finish line. I created an engagement called CyberTalk. See, what CyberTalk does is teach you how to channel the cybersecurity landscape. It teaches you how to transition cybersecurity from typical practices over into your working roles and your jobs. 
This is what cyber talk does. Also, too, I wanted to share some information with you for a second here. When you look at cyber talk, it's the, it's the second level of your cybersecurity learning. The first part of understanding cybersecurity is to read the cybersecurity mindset. So, so let me give you a little history about the cybersecurity mindset. About two years ago, I was on my couch and I was watching my favorite football team, which is the Pittsburgh Steelers. And it was halftime. And I said to myself, I want to be able to contribute to cybersecurity. And I called a friend of mine up and, you know, my friend said that you should write a book. I said, me, write a book? Then I kind of gave it a thought. I said, okay, I should write a book, but what am I going to write about? So what I did was I jotted down a couple of notes and I went on Google for about a whole week just looking at some titles of things I could write about. And then it stumbled onto me, I said that I want people to think proactively about cybersecurity. I want people to have a proactive engagement when they address cybersecurity. So the only way I could think of to make this happen was to think about their mindset. But then I typed in the word mindset, and what do you know? For some reason, cybersecurity came up. Someone had written an article or something on the cybersecurity mindset. I said, yes, that's the title. And immediately, I wrote the title down. But then I started to think, okay, what am I going to put in the book? So I'm going to give you a brief about the cybersecurity mindset. What I did with the cybersecurity mindset was that I took 20 chapters. 20 chapters based on trying to build cybersecurity and to have a progressive thinking model. So when you progressively think, you're going to start off by talking about the cybersecurity culture. How do you build that cybersecurity culture? Then you move into looking at situation awareness, looking at your environment. Then you get into risk-based thinking. And then there's a transition into the book where I talk about transforming your mindset. Because once you go through understanding how to build a culture, how situation awareness work, and how risk-based thinking work, now it's time to transition your mindset. I want to share some information with you. And that is try to remember that you are only as safe as your mindset.